Hello there everybody, Prince LPJ here. Uh, this is just a little warning to say that this video is an older video. It was uploaded uh, before I had to delete all my videos, you know, back in December when I had to do that. So I'm re-uploading everything and this is one of those videos. I hope you enjoy and yeah, you'll be seeing at the bottom of the screen, uh, you know, when it was originally uploaded and this is now it being uploaded again, so enjoy. Hello there everybody, before this video begins I just wanted to say that Doki Doki Literature Club deals with themes such as depression, uh, self-harm and suicide, so if you don't want to, you know, watch these things, th these sorts of things, uh, this video would not be right for you. So this is just a warning about that. Uh, if you are fine with this, then go right ahead and watch the video. Because when I first started this game up, it came up with a whole bunch of warnings. So I figured I would warn you guys too. Anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? Who should I show my palm to first? Sayori, of course. Just her face! Oh, it's adorable! Oh my goodness! This is so good, Princey! Eh? Yeah? I love it! Especially after yesterday's poem! Uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really! I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I also have no idea what he's writing. I just... I just said a bunch of words and it worked. Well... Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's? Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people. You know, uh, a lot of other people, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a princey poem. Oh, it's so sweet. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Aww. You're so weird, Sayori. She's not weird, she's adorable. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Oh god, my voice is starting to... Oh, go. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Oh, that was me. Honestly, it's... Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Oopsie. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet? Yeah, I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad. Oh wait, I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, 
A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice, happy rainbow. Wow, that's a nice way of thinking about things. So, a theory that's unexpectedly poetic. Huh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Princey. I should go write that down then. You read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. <coughs> God, this is gonna be torture. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in bottles, all in a row. Sorry, that made me think of Pretty Maids all in a row. The Eagle song. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf should use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I, fran I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They were shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Aww, that's so sweet. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Oh god. Just checking if there's anything new in the thing. No. In the game files. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Oh, my throat is starting to get sore. Well, not sore, like, tired. Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. So you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've done pretty passionate about this, huh? Understand your own feelings. What do you mean, Sayori? I hope you keep it- Oh, I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a- Sarah's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? Let's go for Natsuki. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew. What? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. H hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll get as 
Uh, maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh... Someone tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Wow! Wow, Natsuki, I like you a lot because Princey's a bit of a dick. I mean, you're not afraid to fucking tell him that. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. No, it wasn't, because you're a bit of a dick sometimes, Princey. Especially with the whole thing with Sayori's buttons. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to show you my... Poem? Yeah. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Hi, Mum. Oh, thank you. Thought I heard you coming. Thank you. Yeah, I know, that's why I got the door open. Amy has a lot of friends. I was seeing her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. Sorry, I've got some food here too. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know, uh, do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter, it can be about anything. Uh, anything new in the game files? Just need to make sure. Nothing new. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure, something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you, or think less of you. You're goddamn right, Natsuki. You're goddamn right. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. 
down right Natsuki again. Sorry, I'm hungry. It's like three o'clock. I'm hungry. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Sarah made me hungry with the cookie. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is a but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so I look forward to it. Is it Wednesday, I believe? This is day three in game, so I think it's Wednesday. And then that makes tomorrow Thursday. Who should I show my palm to next? Let's go for Yuri. Ah, is it my turn? Let's see how it compares to yesterday's. I see. It's a bit different. I respect you for trying different things, Princey. Were you inspired by Natsuki's palm? Or Sayori's, perhaps? Well, I guess you could say that. I thought so. I'm happy for you. You don't need to find inspiration in my poems. I write them for myself. Uh, Yuri, you have pretty good poems as well. Let's just kill Sayori's. Sayori's got really cute and adorable ones. Like, I want breakfast. Our styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. In fact, if I try to do something in your style, I would probably just do a terrible job. Uh, I see. I'm, I'm sorry. My stupid mind it likes to do that sometimes. So what I'm getting from this is that Yuri has social anxiety. Sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that, if you'd like to read it. Uh, of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of the night, while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a, uh, as an ordinary human, uh, uh, as an ordinary, uh, I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread my 
hungry curiosity. The raccoon and what? An urge. The moon increments in space and reflects that much more light off my, of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I am merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic pavilion conditioning. I slice the bread. No, Pavlovian, sorry. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. So I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Ah, that wasn't too bad, Yuri. That really wasn't too bad. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault. I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I oh yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want you to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. Yuri's going on about a hobby that she enjoys that she keeps from, to herself. Natsuki was saying, why judge someone for their hobbies? So, I guess it's a similar thing then. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Didn't Natsuki also write something about... Yeah, see? Princey noticed that too. About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest. She did? Yeah, she was talking about how it doesn't matter where you're, or what you're into, as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. Ah, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah, sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, oh, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, I had not learned to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably hate myself. I wonder what would have happened if I had gone to Yuri before Natsuki this time. Because I went to Natsuki first, and that's how Princey knew about Natsuki having the poem about someone being ridiculed. Interesting. Uh, I might be writing a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Aw, thank you. Who should I show my poem to next? The about Monica. Uh, how about Monica? Hi again. Hi again, Princey. How's the writing going? I thought it was high again, Monica. Whoops. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. What did I... Why did I hit that before? <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. What to share... Oh, want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. I like this one. 
makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm? You sure you're not reading into it too much? I apologize for my eating. All I gotta say is, Ginger Crunch from the bakery that I go to is the best aftertaste of ginger that I've ever had. Oh my god, and just powerfully aftertaste, but not overbearing. That ting 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 ting, that reminds me of a song. <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out so... I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. Monica, you feeling okay? Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violently, grating, well, uh, violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Parallel. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. even more abstract than your last one, huh? What did she mean by save me, load me? She talking about video games? Is Monica a gamer? Hmm, interesting. We'll have to come to that. Later on, maybe it's revealed. Ah ha ha. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The gathering. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll face yourself uh, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game.
She's... Is she fourth wall breaking? Is she... She's fourth wall breaking. Don't forget to save your game. You never know what... Uh, you never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. On. Wait, is this tip even about writing? This isn't a tip about writing. Monica, you're breaking the fourth wall here. This is Suspicious of you, Monica. What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Hello there, everybody. Prince LPJ here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this video of Doki Doki Literature Club. Hopefully, it didn't, you know, give you the bad feelings uh, due to the themes in this game. But if it didn't, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Uh, comment your thoughts down below if you think any of your friends will like this video share it with them and if you're new here why not subscribe for more content and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye